to tangling along with me we are continuing on tanglepatterns.com and today it is this pattern right here that we're going to do so i am going to open my book and find a place for this little one um this is kind of a um fill tangle standalone tangle um fragment um so i need some kind of place for it actually i have a nice corner over here so i am going to turn my book around so we can get to the little corner right here because it's kind of a um triangular shape and then again it isn't it's kind of um having these arced um line here forming two of the legs from a triangular shape and then it's kind of popping on uh, a lid <coughs> kind of like uh, an ice cream cone and it goes from around uh, one third here up the side one third up the side and then over to the corner and then the opposite over here one third into the corner and sometimes I like to try out where to put the line first <coughs> sorry and then you pop in a black bead here where it's connected I'm going to leave a little light sparkle right there and then just color in this little rounding uh, rounded bead here and now you can decorate it in a lot of different ways you could put some orbs here around the edge of the top and if you go in on the home page you will find a lot of different ideas for how to decorate this little shape This is just one of them. Like that. And you can put uh, lines or dots in here. I'm just gonna pop in a few dots around the line here. Aura dots. Um, you can color in the sides, you can make some lines, you can do whatever actually you want to in this shape. I'm gonna pop in the lines here. There we go, and I think I'm gonna paint this blue I am actually going to make one more starting from the tip of this one going out like that again popping on the top and then from one third going to the corner and the same in the other side and then the black orb in the middle leaving the little spark here like that um, I think I'm going to make lines down here that's also one of the ideas and then they have kind of uh, popped in the magic three dots here um, and you can put even more orbs in there, like here. Like that. And you can continue, I could make one on the other side as well, but I'm just gonna leave that be. And then I have a string line right here. You might not be able to see that one, but it was annoying me a kind of bit. Uh, I'm going to take my jelly roll, the 08 here. If you have a 10, you can use that as well. Uh, but I'm using my 08 and I'm just 
popping in a touch of white and I'm thinking of uh, coloring in these beads here just gives him a tiny bit of white here and remember to uh, have a light grip on your jelly roll, otherwise it can be hard to get to work. So a very nice light touch. There we go. I like that. Uh, let me take my blue Micron 01 and I am going to color in the sides of the little one here. I'm just taking my time with this and if you need to do it slower than I am then do it slower it is all fine and perfect let me color in this one here There we go. You can actually uh, make a border with this shape here. I am not showing you that right today, but um, you can uh, try it out and maybe I will do that in a tile soon. I'm just taking my white uh, charcoal and popping in a tiny bit of white here on the top of the shape. And then just dragging it, dragging it down the side or down to the warp. There we go. Um, a tiny bit of shading. I'm going to pop in a little shadow here on the sides. And John, just um small circle movements right here so I don't make all the white disappear and I'm going to do the same on this little one here uh, maybe I had enough on my tortillon but I like to put a little anyway there we go let's turn the book the right side around so here it is um, I actually think that came out really really cute very nice it's a nice fragment or pattern here I like it anyway that was this pattern right here so I hope you liked that and enjoyed it I had a lot of fun with that one so thank you for watching have an attitude of gratitude